New York? Why, sure. I think us hard-bitten New Yorkers could use a visit from a simple country doctor like yourself. What do you say? <laughs> sure. Why not? That's the spirit. Cheers. Don't you worry, Roy. New York is gonna love you. And the celebrated miracle Dr. Defoe left the wilds of Canada to be honored by the citizens of New York City, which took the little doctor to its hard-boiled heart. He is an affirmation of life at a time when, all over the world, human life has become cheap and incidental. He's out of the danger period. Well, Contraplets have never lived this long, you know. You just have to take it one day at a time. Dr. Defoe, what did the Quinties look like when they were born? Like rats. <laughs> Little rats. Doctor, 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 were you surprised to hear that you were nominated for the uh, Nobel Prize? I felt honored. How about when the King of England gave you the order of the British Empire? Yeah. Of course, I haven't really done anything, just delivered a few babies. <laughs> doctor, 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 do you think New York mothers spend too much time in nightclubs? Wouldn't know. They don't up north. Just make a lot of babies up there. <laughs> Are you going to do Elena's show, Doc? He better do my show. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Doctor, what about birth control? What about Dr. Uh, that'll be offered today. That'll be offered today. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Defoe is a guest this afternoon of Mr. William Randolph Hearst. Thank you, Doctor. Mr. Hurst? Excuse me, Mr. Hurst. May I introduce Dr. Roy Defoe? Roy? Mr. William Randolph Hurst. <laughs> so you're the genuine article. A real hero. Hmm? All I claim to do is deliver babies. You are an uncommon man, Doc. You work for the betterment of others with no regard for your own gain. Okay, sir. I hope you have the good sense. To profit from this. You're not a young man. You gotta look after your old age. Say, Doc. Why don't we cook up some kind of book? Your experiences with the Quince. You can write it and I can print it. <laughs> Mr. Hurst, I'm not a writer. Oh, they're a dime a dozen. Deal? Mr. Hurst, I don't write an introduction. My dear. Doc, this is Sally Random. I'm honored to meet you. Not you cute. We still have a lot of ground to cover. Come on, Doc. Come along, Doc. Hey. Why don't you come and see my show? Sure. Why not? <laughs> That's good, Doc. That's very good. It's a Manhattan, what else? Here's mud in your eye, Roy. Ooh. Oh, extraordinary. My, uh, my being here with you is like a, a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale that doesn't ever need to end, Roy. You just keep those quints alive.
Madame Dion. Que vous voulez rentrer Oui. What is the smell? Antiseptic. To prevent germs. Oh, yes, of course. Germs. It's a hospital, madame. Not a home. Oh, you're right, Marie. This is not a home. See, madame? We painted the beds. Green for Cécile. Mauve for Annette. Pink for Yvonne. Yellow for Emily. And blue for Marie. So we can identify the babies. Sometimes we're not too sure. They're so thin. The doctor says it's better to keep their weight low. He won't let them eat candy. Madam Dion, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Some of the local children have whooping cough, and no one from the village is allowed into the nursery. None of my children at home are sick. They may be infected, and the symptoms haven't yet appeared. <coughs> Don't. Do not touch her. You cannot risk infection. For you, direct from Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh. <laughs> and won't my babies love these? Look. <laughs> Mr. Dion. Hmm. Mr. Dion, come in. Free access. That's what the government promised us. Free access to the babies any time, day or night. But when my wife goes for her first visit, she's thrown out as if she had the plague. Mr. Dion, if your wife was asked to leave, I'm sure it was for a sound medical reason. That's perfectly, uh, perfectly within the rules. Well, thank you for educating me. My own personal miracle doctor. And the toast of New York. But let me tell you something. When the mother of the Gian Quintuplets wants to see her babies, no one's gonna stop her. No one. Here I am with the president. Oh, here, here, here. I'm with that, uh, that movie producer from, from 20th Century Fox. Um, uh, they plan to make a movie about me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Extraordinary. It was me told Mrs. Dion to leave. You've done well, Lena. This, I think, is quite special. Huh? It's, uh... I have a favor to ask of you, old friend. My book about my experiences with the quints. I was hoping that you'd write the foreword. You wrote a book mm -hmm. without telling me? How can I endorse you, your book when it would be in direct competition with, with my own autobiography, which is, which is being written as we speak? I see. Thank you.
philosophy as it relates to the care of infants is uh, very simple. Sunlight, clean water, balanced diet, and plenty of fresh air. And look at the results. I can't take this anymore. Uh, break the quince. Make up for Mr. Dietrich. Sir, sir, you, you must comply with my regulations and wear your hospital gown. Sure I think that there can be no exception. One of those damn gowns. You can get a, an extra gown. That, that, that's right. Uh, Mr. Dietrich. Sorry, sir. I, not that I, I know anything about acting, sir. But when you say that bit about my medical philosophy, you might uh, emphasize the word fresh air. Fresh air. Uh, that, 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 that's how I do it, sir. Certainly, Doc. Thanks for the tip. Sir, excuse me. Sir, 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 if you, if you would allow me one small observation. Mr. Dietrich's accent is sounding very, very, very German. Well, take care of it, Doc. But it's okay. Ger Let's get going. We're dying here. Hey, Doc. Well, Where's Nurse de Kaiser? Camera. Lena. Uh, I had to let her go. Her, her, her work had become unsatisfactory. Action. My philosophy, as it relates to the care of infants, is very simple. Cuts. What's going on? Somebody do something about that damn crowd? First of all, take the girls out on the balcony. Doctor, I think they're tired. Uh, a little airing won't hurt them. I'd rather take Ivan out five times than tire each of the girls. Anyway, who's going to know the difference? After visiting hours. Enjoy your visit, Madame. Monsieur. Thank you. C'est Mama Yvonne. Hmm. Oui. C'est Mama. You sure it's Yvonne? Nurses have given them each a color. But I don't need colors to tell them apart. Oh, this is Mama. Mama and Papa. This is an unauthorized visit, Mr. Dion. You can only enter with the doctor's permission. I advise you to leave peacefully or we'll have to evict you. Go ahead. Go ahead and try. Very well.
So distressing for my girls. House. The Dion name is magic. The tour is already sold out. Mr. Halpern, this place, it's not what we discussed. We talked about a lecture tour. Look, you said you wanted to tell your story to the people. Well, that's who's out there. Do me a favor, glamour up for the next show, okay? I am Mariva Zion, and this is my wife, Elzir. Where are the twins? They're back home. But they aren't really at home. And this is why my wife and I came here to speak to you, to tell you the truth. We want the twins. Listen, we're good don't people. Don't get too close. I don't want to get pregnant with five babies. <laughs> okay, next step. Any of you out there have kids? Any one of you out there who love their kids? You want to try and imagine what it's like to have someone take your kids away from you? You know how that feels? How she feels? She's a good mother. She loves her kids. She almost died giving birth through her little girls and and she's never been given the chance to hold them in her arms. They don't even know who she is.
Eva and Elzir Dion, parents of the world-famous quintuplets, are back in the news again. Yes, forever in search of new and novel ways to exploit their quints, Papa and Mama Dion have taken their show on the road. Trouble is, without the Quinties, Mama and Papa Dion aren't exactly welcome. I don't want to get pregnant with five babies. Boy, what some people won't do for a buck. This is an embarrassment. Dion may be an embarrassment, but the Quints are an entirely different matter. Their movie, The Country Doctor, is a, a box office smash. Contract with 20th Century Fox amounts to $300,000 for the Quints. $300,000? And that's just the beginning. The Quints continue to draw tourists. Seems to be no end to the fascination for them. And the economic impact is transforming the area. Welfare is down, businesses are flourishing. And what was once our poorest area is fast becoming our richest. If this keeps up, our projections show more income coming out of the Quince than we are getting from Niagara Falls. The tax dollars will be huge. Moneymaker. In the middle of a depression. That's very interesting. Mm. In the short term, when the guardianship bill runs out, Dion gets the Quince back. Taking all that revenue with them. OK, what are the options? The government of Premier Hepburn Taking into consideration recent actions from the parents of the Dion Quintuplets, such actions being considered disgraceful, and further proof of the parents' continued attempts to exploit the Quintuplets, will introduce a bill extending the guardianship of the girls in order to ensure their health and safety. The Quints will remain under the protection of the government until they reach the age of 18. This is an offer from Stork Cleaning Powder. $20,000 for the Quince to pose and endorse the product. We never use that product. Come on, Roy. This is advertising. Well, uh, I don't know about these things. What about that film you just made? Well, it's different. It is uh, educational. And very profitable. Let us not forget, Doctor, that costs here at the hospital are rising. And as the Quince... Official guardians, would it be fair to them not to take advantage of these opportunities to build them up a nice little nest egg? Sure, but only if my girls endorse products that they, they actually use. It, it would be dishonest otherwise. Quaker Oats wants you in the picture, too. Oh, I couldn't. Come on, Roy. You deserve something for all your hard work. Doc, I don't know what you think about this, but, uh, well, the Premier's been thinking about improving things around here. There should be regular, scheduled viewings of the Quince for the tourists. Now, we don't propose to charge admission. It should all be tastefully done and with the girl's best interests in mind. We wouldn't want to exploit them in any way. for Quint's endorsement of Ribbon Dental Cream, $27,500. Lever Brothers, for Quint's endorsement of Lux Soap, $25,000. Brown and Bigelow, for use of Quint's photos and calendars and greeting cards, $58,000. Tiny Town Togs, children's dresses promoted by the Quint's, $10,416. NEA Service Inc. to make and distribute still photos of the Quint's, $63,880. General Motors, me and the girls driving in a GM make car, $15,000. This is Dion 
You know they're not allowed to have sugar. Please. Thank you. Quint dolls now outsell Shirley Temple dolls. Quintuplets now ranked as the most important tourist attraction in the world. And the bigger even than Niagara Falls. Gentlemen, our quintuplet balance sheet shows total royalties received in the amount of $1,600,000. They represent to the province an asset worth some $500 million. Thank <laughs> you. 